So here's a game I'm, well, for seeing, having a lot of content ID matches, mostly because it's by Rockstar. This is Red Dead Redemption for the PlayStation 3, a game that I've played, but I've never finished. I think initially I played it on the Xbox 360, but this time, I'll be playing it, well, on this system. And we'll go ahead and play just Red Dead Redemption. I don't even know what Undead Nightmare is, but I have it. Now, for those that don't know, I do have a connection to the Old West. I am the great, 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 great grandson of Davy Crockett. Who, of course, died at the Alamo that fateful day. But this isn't about me. This is about John Marston. Eventually. I'm not sure if this is the best version of the game. I was actually hoping this game, like many others were hoping, it, that it would eventually be released for PC, but... At this point in time, in 2016, that seems pretty unlikely. Pretty damn unlikely. PlayStation 3, are you going to get on with it? We are just lowing bullets into the chamber until, well, until the day's end. And apparently I have a game already going. Let's go ahead and new game. Yes! I think I did that a while ago, just so I could see how it was going. Because I think I got this on a sale for about five bucks, which is a pretty goddamn steal. According to Aventaro, Undead Nightmare is just your basic zombie mode. Which is what I expected. I'm expecting that most of the people watching live or on YouTube are going to have much more experience with this game than I do, so... I'm sure you'll be frustrated, but I'm sure that you've already learned how to get over it, if you're still a viewer of mine. Here we are sailing in, sailing in on a river of mercury. This is before they knew it was toxic. I think we actually missed the opening cinematic for whatever reason. Or maybe I'm thinking of a different portion of the game. Probably thinking of a different portion of the game. <clears throat> Our character is that man in the middle there with the scars on his face. There's John Marston. A name that you will hear too often in this game. Also, sit back and relax, because this opening sequence does take a long damn time. Plus, we're going to get a number of names on here. It's going to be like we're playing a Kojima game. I gotta say, in the last month, well, year really, 2015, before this year, my PlayStation has gotten a lot of work and it's continuing to do so, really. A lot of great games on the PlayStation 3. Well, I for one am grateful, Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. Agrita says, Kojima wishes he could write this well. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. Yeah, I'm sure they've also gained access to smallpox, which is probably what you're saying, isn't it? Yes, they're so much happier now, trading their islands for beads. Not 
only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Been funny if she said, No, no, apparently birds can fly, dipshit. That is a dangerous looking track right there, so steep. Mr. Johns wants to run for governor, which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without. Clearly, they're not as sophisticated as me with my feathers and my leaves in my hat. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy both of you. What you must remember, my dear. I'll try to get you some subtitles as soon as possible, there, egregious. between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is <laughs> Fucking Martian's about to <laughs> lose his shit. Well, here we are. To shoot everyone on this train. actually have control. Let's see if I can get those subtitles online real quick. That way I can speak over the uh, speak over the cutscenes without a guilty conscience. Looks like I'm going to... Sp nope, no, there's the subtitles. Do -do -do. There you go. Just for you, Egregious, they're on. I suppose everyone else who has it, well, be happy Egregious is around to remind me. We can look around, we can walk. Oh, the excitement. And we can sprint with X, so let's go ahead and do so. That guy just popped out of existence as soon as we got into this cutscene. No one can hold their goddamn liquor out here. Also, we got some DLC. It's actually a really cool feature in this game that we're about to see. Whoops. Let's go ahead and slow up the horse. Come on, you. I guess I gotta get behind him again. Up at the fort. A 
looking for an old friend. Well, like I says, you ain't gonna find many folk around those parts these days. Those you do find are about as sociable as an old three to back to. <laughs> I mean, I ain't one to judge a man by the company he keeps, but... Well, he ain't been friends for a long time. I do just like how I can hold down the X button and maintain speed. Otherwise, this would be incredibly awkward. A lot of games have, you know, falling sequences. This one's just so easy. No, some of us are single. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was the marshal who hired me. Lee Johnson, do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guy. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. Oops, stay on the trail. Otherwise, you do slow down pretty hard. It'll be pivotal when we do horse races later. You ain't very talkative, are you? Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. It's how I am. What does that even mean? I mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you better off not knowing. Chewing the dog, he says. Is that some kind of euphemism? Damn coyotes. What a waste of good meat. Not far now. You'll see the fort when you get to the top of this hill. Got a carcass. Oh, the grandeur. Fort Mercer. Easy. Listen, mister. This here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. Didn't really look that bad. So I understand. This is where we park ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> Let us approach with most haste. Because I would like to get the actual gameplay portion of this game, as, you know, sooner than later. Story's not bad. But I do like to play games. Bill! When I'm playing games. Bill, I've come for you! Bill Williamson! Come out here right now! Your sw your sweepstakes winner! Go away now, John. Don't make me kill you. But I have a check here for one million dollars. You must think You don't got no check. I <laughs> you always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> Do I look like I need saving? Maybe. Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seem to save yourself. That's all I had this space for. I'm sorry. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> You implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge. Dun, 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 dun. And no more you. Implores. I, I implores you. To go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Make sure they have a, a hat with more feathers in it. No chance. Also, you may notice the gold gun, that's a DLC. I should turn that off. I think there's a way to do that. They don't actually, they're not more powerful, they just have a different look to them. 
I don't know. I'll have a poll for it. And, as you can see, they're getting our bodies so they can carve us up and use our parts for somebody else. Also, my spelling is terrible. <laughs> I spelled yes, Y-S-E. God damn it. I'll let that go for another minute or so. We're in no rush here. We're still in, we're still in uh, cutscene country. New friends, old problems. Well, doesn't that beat all? Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh, I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple of days ago. Good. It cost us fifteen dollars. Holy shit! I'm sorry. You could buy a house with that. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county to die, Mr. Er, Mr. Uh, Marston, John Marston, Bonnie McFarland, Miss. Bonnie McFarlane. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarlane. I don't know. Huh. What were you doing? Just trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old times' sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. <laughs> Thank you, Miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. That's not how you set down a hat. You need to put it topside down. Dang it. Now I'm going to take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Penny dreadfuls? If you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? Okay. You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Plus, it's a tutorial. Thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend we don't try to leave here quite so earnestly. Okay. I'll bear that in mind. We're almost in the gameplay territory. Almost. Mother of Seth. Yes, yeah, Seth McFarlane's mother right there. So let's see. Oh, I let that go for a long time. Pretty close, though. We have most people looking forward to the guns, which, uh, it's fine. You know, that's less work for me. We'll leave them on. Like I said, they don't, they're not any more powerful, they're just gold. Well, let's go find her. Barney! Can I hop the fence? I know you can hop the fence. There you go, I had to press square. Mr. Marston, back in the land of the living, I see. Uh, yes. I sure can use an extra pair of hands around here. Let's see if we can get you back in the saddle. Okay. I think we have our first horse race after this. There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good for nothing outlaws such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. Hop on up. You won't bite. Matt? Come on. Time for you to see what a real ranch looks like. So we will get different horses. They have different stats and everything. It's kind of neat. Oh, the excitement. To your right is the general store. You won't find Parisian 
high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. Such cinematography, thanks to the circle button. And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now where'd you get 